Hi guys, welcome back to GearVest. Today we are going to introduce you guys of a very fundamental information about 3D printers. If you are a very new beginner with 3D printers or you just have the budget or you have the interest while you are quarantined at home to purchase a 3D printer, this is for you. So we are having several like uh, 3D printers displaying right here and we are also having a few samples listing in front of me and we are going to include five topics with all these uh, samples over here. So first one is price. So there are several um, main types on the market which are SLA, DLP, FDM, SLS, and SLM. And looking at price, you are probably wondering between a hundred something dollars up to a thousand bucks. You may wonder why it's so cheap for one of the 3D printers. Well, it's somehow similar, but it costs double or triple. So we are going to introduce you of the some of the the basic specs over here today. And the second is build volume and type. The build volume here is, as you can see very easily, this is 200 millimeters times 200 millimeters times 250 millimeters. So that's the volume you are able to build, but make sure that you don't always touch the edge. And this one is easy to tell as well because you can see the container over here, this actually comes with liquid material. And this one, you can see there is a blue blue plate over there, that's the bottom size you can print, and the head is how far it goes up there. Uh, as for the time, if you are going to print something that is, let's say, this big and something like a mask, you are not expecting it to come out of this right away, like a, a, a molding machine. It's just opens and closes and uh, immediately then we would recommend you to set up the the software and the raw material before you go to bed and let it run overnight when you wake up in the morning it's probably half done or two thirds done but you probably want to check if it's what you want or if you want to you may want to check if the material is still good enough and you may want to switch the the, the position a little bit. But anyways, we will suggest you to double check in the morning and reset up or refill, and then you can just go to work. When you come back home, let's say a very dedicated mask may be done, and you would actually appreciate your, uh, your artwork. So talking about the material that I mentioned over here is that this one comes with the, the liquid resin and this one is actually a little bit precise and you can see over here this is one of the samples we printed with it uh, you can you can set it up to print multiple small atoms or you can just make one thing or you can make a big piece but cut it into small parts and you can school them together so those are the samples that made out of this one. And this is making sure you know this is uh, liquid. And those two are actually very similar with each other. And this way doesn't have a uh, protection over here, which you can always choose. And uh, it's you can see all the schools over here because when you when you get it in front of your deck, you are going to see all the individual parts. So this require a little bit the DIY part and putting it together. And this is actually very portable. The PLA is the normal material when you are begin with a 3D printer. And those are the samples made out of PLA, which you can see is actually is quite nice. That gives you the uh, ability to to print some of the stuff that you want. This one, it goes this way only. Well, as you can see, that one only over here. So it has three holders and it can go 360 degrees. So you probably would guess it's faster, a little bit faster than that. And another thing, another different thing is that this gonna arrive in, uh, in at your place with a whole package. So this is kind of safe and we are going to open it up for you to see all the details. Okay, so the fourth one is a software and ease of use. You definitely realize that the payment you, uh, you, you do with all the 3D printers, you are paying not only for the quality of the printer, but the software as well. So if you are paying a little bit less, as say all the rest of the factors are the same, but you are paying a little bit less, it's probably a little bit to set up as for saying you have to um, 
DIY to set it up, or you have to spend a little bit more time with the software. So when before you make a purchase, make sure that you check on the software, which would uh, apply to Mac or Windows system as for your computer setup. Let's say the ease of use, which is definitely part of the service that you are paying for. And the fifth, we are talking about safety functions which you probably would vary in two situations. First, when you are going to work, when you are out of house, uh, what if all the things set up on fire? Well, you don't need to worry about that because we have a filament to run out protection and power outage protection. So another thing is what if you have kids at home and you are afraid when they touch it, they're gonna get them burned. So all the options are open that you can always make a purchase with all the protections. And um, as you can see here, I've been holding this in my hand for a little while. It's a 3D printing pen, which you can always let your kid to play first before they get to know the difficult equipment like this. And it's very easy to apply, just input the material, come together with the package. Inside over here, use the button and have the material out and apply on your artwork. So your kid probably would enjoy a little bit DIY themselves while they are at home. This is pretty much everything we are covering today. If you do want to know more, feel free to check our 3D printing page and you are going to see a tons of 3D printers available both overseas uh, warehouse which can arrive in five days or it's probably a little bit cheaper but taking a little bit longer. Or you can leave the comments down here. Our people are gonna get back to you with to your questions. So I hope you guys stay safe and happy and see you next time. Bye.